You know the saying, there are two sides to every story in the affair. There are actually four sides. The debut season of the hit Showtime series earned Golden Globe for Best Television Drama and Best Actress in a TV Drama for the lovely co-star Ruth Wilson. Yay, Ruth. The season's lovers, Allison and Noah, deal with the aftermath of their cheating and living together. The story is told from each of their very different perspectives. And now fans are seeing the wreckage the couple left behind. And they're also seeing the views of two more characters. Noah's soon-to-be ex-wife, that's Helen, and Allison's jilted husband, that's Cole. Here's a sneak preview at next Sunday's episode. I think we're making a terrible mistake. Please don't say that. She's right. You're not even divorced yet, neither am I. Everything's fine here now, but what happens when we have to leave? When we actually have to face the real world again? We'll figure it out. What if we can't? Why are you asking that? Because it's a possibility, Noah. Are you really so naive? Do you really think that things just work out for the best? But true love conquers all. True love conquers all, yes. <laughs> Ruth Wilson plays a conflicted Allison. Welcome to Studio 57. Hello. So I jumped on the affair bandwagon this summer. Charlie Rose was in here talking about you, and I said, let me watch a couple episodes. And before you knew it, watched all of season one. And I was so smitten with Allison because she's so conflicted. It almost feels like, Allison, be careful of what you wish for. Yeah, definitely. You're I mean, Ruth, and I'm talking about your character, Allison. Yes, yeah. Be careful. Be careful, indeed. I mean, this season definitely plays around with that a lot more. It's about the consequences of this affair and how it affects everyone in their lives. Um, the repercussions filter through to other people as well as themselves. Mm -hmm. And she's always i find she's a character that is constantly looking for happiness or looking for someone to save her from this awful grief she's gone through and escape from that world noah was the person she felt mm -hmm. he was but this season it's a bit like yeah be careful what you wish for he might not be Right. The sole yes. source of happiness for you. Yeah, there's so much sneaking around and lying. I mean, how well do Allison and Noah really know each other? They don't. Yeah. No, I mean, that's the whole... And again, another theme of this season is how well do you really know someone? And they don't. They acted impulsively and slightly recklessly, and now they're dealing with the consequences. And they're committing to this relationship because they really wanted to make it, make it work. Yeah. And it's had such... It's caused such damage in some ways, so it's even more important to try and make it work mm -hmm. one of the con um, one of the conceits i love about this show is that it, it's as we mentioned it, it's now got four points of view but initially yeah. it started with two yeah and that wh what's so interesting is you can have the same storyline but two entirely different perspectives yeah two thing people view the events that happened in completely yeah. different ways right. well it's the idea that all truth is subjective yeah mm -hmm. you're always seeing everything you do in your life from your own experience yeah. so how you've been brought up will shape how you feel about various events or things that happen to you. So everything is subjective. There's no objective truth. Um, so that's the kind of theme of the, of the whole show itself. You, you are single, and I realize you're acting the role of Allison. But I am curious, <laughs> does it make you think about marriage? Does it yeah, make you? Of yeah. In what way? I mean, I How come, so? Well, I think every time you do a part, you have to dig into why these people do things and empathize with your characters. So of course it makes you question whether the institution of marriage is something that's still uh, is relevant mm -hmm. and whether we've got such high expectations of what marriage should give you and I think that's where it sometimes fails mm -hmm. um, that we go into it thinking it's going to be our sole source of happiness and for life mm -hmm. and actually you need to work at it and you need to find happiness within yourself first and, and both the women characters are very strong characters in yeah. this story yeah. neither the, neither yeah, one of them true. really need the man to survive which well, exactly. I think is also a very interesting point of view yeah and in this season it's interesting I mean they both start to realize that slowly and certainly Alison. I mean, it's the first half of the season, you'll see that she's still trying to make this relationship work and is very dependent on Noah. But by the end, she's starting to realise that happiness exists in other forms for her, in her work, in her... Mm -hmm. She has a new child. So yes. you start to see her finding that she is finding herself and they're both going through a journey of self-discovery. Here's what I wonder when I watch this show, because you have a British co-star, which is why are Brits always so much better doing American accents than Americans are doing British accents? Well, we've been watching you guys forever. We've had Americans on our TV screens for years, and the big, you know, Hollywood movies of what you grew up with. I agree with Anthony, though, because the first time I saw an interview with you, I thought, oh, my gosh, she's not even American. You and Dominic both nail it so well. Well, we run around the playground, and you act out scenes from 
<laughs> sort of big American movie, blockbusters. That's and you, you, and you won the Golden Globe for this, Ruth. Yeah. I was there when no. you won, and you oh. seem you seem stunned. I was. Were yeah. you? Yeah. What well, was that I moment was. like? It was amazing. I was. It was a. I mean, it's you know, it, I'm completely shocked that we won <laughs> as the show won, and then I won, and I was. <laughs> It was a brilliant evening. It was fun. Yeah, brilliant I can't evening. really remember much of it because I was a bit in an adrenaline high space, but um, it was amazing. I felt very privileged to be there. Well, congratulations on the show. It's terrific. I, I can't wait to see. Good so, luck with season two. Yeah. Who killed Scotty? Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, I predict it's Cole. I don't know, but I predict Cole. Thank you, Ruth Wilson. Thank, <laughs> Thank you very you. much. You can watch The Affair Sundays on Showtime. It is a division of CBS.